a question you want to address or anything regarding the wiki project. Oh, yeah. So um, I have uh, a few questions I'll ask as the session uh, goes on. So my first question is, uh, so from my understanding of the project, uh, we're supposed to load the data onto Postgres, which acts as a database. Uh, then uh, we're supposed to find a way, we're supposed to connect this post, our Postgres SQL database to uh, Redash, and Redash will automatically uh, query the data to give visualizations. Uh, am I correct on that part? Yes, you are correct. Okay, so um, my question is now, um, once we load this data onto Redash, do we connect, do we connect to our server uh before we do we first connect to our postgres uh, sql database first before we connecting to a server or do we first connect to a server then we connect to a postgres sql database or does it do the two at the same time uh, once you do the compose i mean uh, i'm not quite sure when you say server but you will connect the postgres with the redash framework first when you connect it, you will automatically will have access to your database, all your schemas. So how, how do you connect it? There is a data source menu on the Redash web, web UI, if you can see it. Okay. That, that data, so when you go to the data source, there are a lot of database options. There you can choose the Postgres SQL. Then you have to configure the configuration to connect with your local Postgres which is yeah. uh, the configuration. I think uh, Hilary also may post it on the Slack. You can go, it, uh, we can go on the back, uh, to the back history and you can check it out. There is on the Slack, there is a shared uh, for the configuration to connect with your local host Postgres. Okay. Um, you have to uh, Okay, another question is on the data handling part. Um, do you have any tips on how we should handle the data or before loading it onto Postgres to, so such that it gives uh, proper visualizations? You mean how you design the schema for the database? Yeah, yeah, the, the, that, the, how you, do you merge files or do you? So if you are talking about the data, the data folder is, not quite similar with each other, so you can just uh, create each, for for all the folders their own table and push it on the Postgres and access it on the Redash. Uh, you can be creative as you want on the data. So okay. How you design okay. the schema? Okay. Oh, so this you. one also there's a lot of discussion we have done on this one in the stand up. So please reach out to the trainees. I'm sure they can help out. Okay. Okay. So far, that's all. Okay. Thank you. So, any other questions? You can write also on the chat. Okay, maybe if there is no question, how optimistic are you for tomorrow's submission and th the presentation? Maybe you can share that. Instead of me calling names, it's better if you volunteer and speak. Uh, those of you who are team leaders, could you raise your hand? Okay. 
Hello, Rahman. Can you see yes, our hands? We are raising uh, our hand. Uh, I'm sorry. What are you asking question? Yeah, Javis. Yes. Can I go? Can I ask? Yes. Yes. Please. You can go. Oh, okay. So my question is uh, one. Uh, I think there is a, a section on the technical document to use uh, quarters for the backend, and I I really don't know what we should do uh, on the backend using quarts. I think it's used for the uh, to, to design uh, uh, or to save the schema or the the, the data and to process the data. But if we are connected with Redash, why, is there a need for uh, to uh, to do something with the quads? That's my question. The first one, and the second one is, I think uh, uh, last time you said we can use the UI, the Redash UI, to build the dashboard. Yeah. But I yeah. I see something in the document to use the React. Uh, uh, um, uh, that's also another question. And the third one is, I tried. Uh, we tried different things to to give a uh, context to the model. I tried the API. To, I think there is a, a, a on the UI on the Redash UI. I was I was able to find uh, an API and API key for the query, but I really don't know how to use it on the. Uh, for the model to give context to the model, I, I, I tried another different things to use, like the web based loader to use the. Chain data frame. Okay. okay, let me just answer that too. You repeat the third one. I, okay. I, I lost you at the middle. So for yeah. the. Um, what was the first question for the React part? Technically, you are using React when you're using the Redash user interface because it's built on React. So it's a React framework, the Redash entire web UI. So that will cover that part. Okay, so you don't have it's not another thing. So okay. you can try to change the chat box UI maybe if you want to implement more UI advances. Uh, Practices you can do that on the chat application. Uh, if you need to use uh, additional user interface, you can, but I don't see that much of being necessary for the there's already for the dashboard UI for the querying. So we can use that. As for yeah, the quarters here, yeah, right? The first one, yeah. You don't have to uh, worry about that. Just try to figure out what you are you, are, you guys are working on. Okay. Uh, the third, please repeat. I, I didn't quite catch the question. Okay, so uh, what we're, we're, we're trying to do is that we are trying to give context to the model. So in order to do that, we are trying different things. I think we need the the required is the required summit at least to to get data from the uh, to, to ask the model for some data and. It should provide some data, but I tr we try different things to to give context for the uh, for the model. But uh, it seems it's not working. Maybe if I have a tip on that, I tried the API. Also, I found the API on the UI for the query, but uh, I think it's not that much working. Or maybe is it okay if we just give it the schema, uh, writing the schema uh, on the Redash source code and uh, if it's uh, if the model give us answer uh, about the table name or column and name, is that enough, or we should actually uh, access the the data? Yeah, I mean it should access the data. That wouldn't be just the the only answer. It would be answering is the column's name, and that's not just enough. It's not enough to the visualization. It should get the data. So. Uh, you're saying you get the data, you get the REST API to fetch the data. You can see the data, Jarvis. Yeah, I, I, I am not. I was not successful to. I I tried in different. I tried to write a code in different uh, different Python code uh, outside of the Redash source code, and I was able to uh, 
uh, ask the model to give me some data and it, I was successful. But when I try to use it inside the reader source code, I was not successful. It's not uh, responding for my, it's not responding based on the data. Yeah, what I'm guessing is I don't think the LLM is actually getting your data. So maybe before passing it to the LLM, could you check on the console that you actually are accessing the data through that URL? Just see the data on the console or just print it out on some other way and see if the data is, is it an array, is it an object? What actually is the data that is being passed to the LLM? Could you okay, just try to yeah, find that out first? Okay, what I was uh, getting is that it says API and it's it's giving me two type of data. It's giving me a JSON type. Uh, it says dot JSON and also it gives me a CSV dot CSV uh, URL. Uh, so the JSON type does it? You can you see your all all your data on the JSON file on the JSON object? Yeah, and when I. Tables? Yeah, when I try to run the URL, the, it gives me a URL that uh, dot JSON, and when I uh, use it on the uh, browser, it it gives me the JSON file. It downloads the JSON file, which means your Postgres tables or your schemas with their values. You can see that. Yes. And you're passing that JSON data to the LLA. Yes. But it's still not responding. Yeah, it's not res responding. Uh, I, I try to use a uh, launching uh, so that I could uh, load the, I, I think the, there is a, an agent called web-based uh, loader on the launching mm. and use that agent to give the JSON URL and so that it could uh, give a, uh, it should have a context, but uh, it's not responding. How did you pass the on the coin test? Did you put, could you just walk me through how did you pass that particular? Did you just did you, did you just put the URL on the LLM as a context or? Uh, I use the uh, web. web uh, I use the web uh, based loader agent for the long chain. Then I uh, I think there uh, I uh, set up uh, that one. I imported the library and also uh, get the question from the user. I use that question and give it to the agent. Uh, uh, and also I give uh, uh, the URL for the model. Yeah. For the agent, it's, it's, I think it's for the, I don't know how to show you that one. Uh, can I share my screen? Hello?
Uh, Yabiz, are you here? Yes. Okay, I think Ramat's connection uh, has a connection interruption. Okay, maybe uh, let's wait for her one or two minutes. We will proceed. Okay. Hello. Hmm? Yeah, the, uh, yeah this, let's just continue. I don't think I'm going to Okay, sh should I continue? Yeah, continue. Yeah. Okay. So I, I was uh, trying, uh, what I was saying is that I was trying to give context to the model using the uh, long chain agent uh, web-based loader but i was not able to uh, get answer from the chatbot uh, from the data uh, uh, if anybody can help uh, that's my, where i got stuck Okay, so uh, it was about to share uh, your screen of if I remember correctly. And you're good? Okay, if you see my screen, the, the, I imported the web base loader. Then I try uh, to give it, I created a function. And uh, then the, this function accepts the URL. Uh, so I give uh, the URL to the function here uh, in the docs. Then uh, I was trying to give context to the model using this code. Uh, and uh, this is the JSON file, the API JSON file for the query, uh, uh, but it's not responding. Okay. Uh, so I'm Hilary. I'm trying to uh, give context I, uh, because uh, the so model needs to have context yet yeah, for uh, to answer from the data. Uh, because uh, where can the how can the model can answer me questions from the data if I don't give context? Okay, I don't know if if Matt is there to answer you, but for for me, I I used uh, I used. Uh, I used the what do you call it? schema. I I got a schema using uh, SQL Alchemy. I also saw Abu Bakr used uh, uh, Abu Bakr used SQL Alchemy. I used Seiko, but I got the schema and uh, 
and from the schema, uh, you you first give the you first let the LLM know the schema, and then you add the question with the schema. Uh, that way, the, the the LLM was able to know what database looks like. Oh, okay. Do you uh, uh, how, how do you get uh, data from the the model? Can you un can you ask the model uh, about the data or just the schema? Uh, no, no. The the schema like because the data is so much, you just need the LLM to know about the ski about how the database looks like. Let like that is what the database the columns the table contains the kind of data how it looks like but uh, you'll just tell it it has these columns and uh, the data types are these ones and the, the LLM will know how to how to write the select statement for what you are asking it for it just give you a query query uh, for that answer oh. okay so we don't have to uh, necessarily give uh, uh, the data Yes, I heard that there was there was no need to give the data. That one we um I was answered sometime by uh I don't know, but uh, they uh, I was told that uh, you don't need to give the data. The data is too much, and by the way, I think the LLM only has some a limited number of tokens, so you yeah. can't pass it the entire data. You just have to give it scheme, let it know the scheme. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, I'll go on. I think it's Yosef. Um, who's who, who's next? Okay, uh, I thought you was you you want to go next, but Hillary can go on. Yes, so uh, my, my question was uh, uh, so now yeah, because we're collaborating with uh, a partner on the project, or a colleague on the project. Uh, how do we um, do we invite them uh, to collaborate on Redash via the the web host, or how do they also do they use the same server? Same server details and configuration and everything. And also, should we invite them? Because I've seen there's a tab for in, being able to invite somebody. Okay, uh, to work together or, or yeah. to collaborate on the redash part. So on on which one? Like on the actual uh, like interface. Uh, the UI, yeah, the UI. On the actual UI or on the code base? Okay, on the UI, you can uh, maybe you can uh, use uh, tunneling, tunneling tools like ng-rock. So, for example, let's say the Redash server is running on your laptop or on your PC and you want to share with uh, other person. So, you have to maybe you can uh, tunnel it using ng-rock or so I think local tunnel or there are uh, servio.net, you can just check those tools if that will be much more easier. So you can share the same credentials or you can invite them. You can, like, they can create their own users or you, you add the users and they log in using that, which means you you will give or the admin of that redirect server will give a certain access to to those login credentials or to those users, or so you can approach it in that yeah, way. Yeah. Um, last question is: is uh, uh, How much time will be allocated for each presentation? How much time will be allocated for each uh, presentation? Uh, okay, so for the presentation, uh, it is allocated. Uh, 30 minutes for each group 
So which means you, each member have five minutes of presentation and 15 minutes, there is 15 minutes would be for uh, uh, question and answer. So yeah, make sure to be prepared for that. Okay, go on Hilary. Okay, my my question is is about how we 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 create automated visualizations. So, um, for, so uh, first thing is I am able to get a query the query, and then I have to get the query results. So uh, we are having a discussion on how to do that, and uh, uh, I saw that the like you can do it on front end, and I don't know how to to do do it from front end. I I think like. Can we like um, do it on the back end where we use the API? We have like, a function like since I'm using the tool uh, tool belt, we have a function like create dashboard. Can I use that one? And then how will it appear in the front end? Like will it refresh? If I refresh after creating the dashboard on the back end, will it like appear automatically? Uh, I think uh, if you are uh, if you want to just update the results, is that what you are looking for? Update the result automatically? No, like um, based on a based on a, a question from the user, you you do it you do everything using uh, AI or from backend. Like you, if user asks for something, a query for something, you have to get the query, get the results. I think from backend or elsewhere, without like manually going to the UI of Red Dash and clicking get, create visualization and create dashboard, it happened. That happens uh, automatically when you just yeah, give a question to the chatbot. I think, and now you just have to like, and you expect the result to be shown to you, like the dashboard, the entire dashboard with the visualization to be shown to you without doing anything on the front end. Um, I'm thinking it should be that and now is that done? Okay, but that, uh, will, will that not actually make the validation process uh, much more uh, harder? So you just want to accept whatever the generated SQL is? Uh, yes, um, we, we, are, we are told um, from the challenge document, we are told to automate dashboard generation. So it says in task five, implement automatic visualization generation based on user queries, and then generates SQL queries and existing visualization context. And uh, and uh, uh, so, so I think can't you use the official the Redash API for that? Uh, yeah, yes, there's the readership API for that, and uh, okay. so apparently you have to call the specific endpoints. Like if you're yeah. doing, if you're creating a dashboard, we do API okay. slash dashboard yeah. with a post request. Or uh, yeah. I don't know, is and right. so I'm asking, if I do that, will 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 it automatically display it on the front end, or do I have to do something else uh, on the on the client like React? Uh, oh, I'm I'm not sure if it will uh, add it out. It will be built automatically. It will be added on the dashboard if you are using the API. But I'm 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 not sure, like because maybe the UI you are using in the dashboard location might be different. So, but if you are using the API, it will definitely add into the dashboards. Or maybe after that, you can redirect to the dashboard. Okay. okay. So I, I'm thinking that I'm, I'm thinking that I can do that. And then if I was on the maybe the page for for like data sources or elsewhere, I can have I love to call um, maybe reload the page with the with the endpoint where a dashboard is usually displayed. Uh, ah, you you can do that too. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, thank you. Dan. Okay, uh, so any, any other question?
Okay. I wrote on chat in box, so maybe you can look at it. I, I, I'm, I, I, I'm out of uh, like missed that one. Okay, how can we effectively integrate a backend that connect with our database? So by the backend, you mean? Uh, so should we write an optional code within the reader dashboard? Or uh, no, it, it's better to add the data within the reader for data source. Okay, so everything is As, should read in the read dashboard there. Um, come again, like, I didn't quite hear you. So I said, so everything we should write everything in our read dashboard, there, right? What do you mean by research folders? So I'm just saying, let's say you have a database running somewhere. Okay. It might be on Docker, it might be in, in your local machine. So in order, so it, the research has to be connected to the database, right? So in order for it to query effectively or end efficiently, the better approach would be to connect the data source uh, on re your database as a data source in the research. So, okay, yeah, we just we connected uh, okay. our database with Redash. Um. The thing is, when we just add some code on Redash folder, but it is not working. Okay, maybe uh, are you using uh, the Postgres inside the Docker? It, it, is it a Redockerized Postgres? Yeah. Okay, maybe in, in that case, when, when you are rebuilding it, it might actually uh, grab another API address for, for if your docker is actually in a, in a default mode, which is in a bridge mode. If it's running in bridge mode, you have to uh, inspect the network and uh, you will get the IP address right uh, in, inside. So the commands you should run is just, let me just type it in the chat and so, you have to run for a stalker network unless this will give you the list of networks that you have and also with the with the specific modes so for example the default mode is so bridge mode so in bridge mode let's say you have uh, different containers running uh, docker containers so if it's a bridge mode, Docker will actually create its own network environment. So now you can check. So let's say the content, the actual, the whole Docker file or the Docker container is named somehow, let's say just three dash. So we have to type do Docker inspect, inspect three dash, and this will actually show you the list of networks with the corresponding IP address. So you grab the IP address. Mostly they start with uh, 172 and uh, .0, .0 and the last IP address. So just grab that one and and also there is a default port. If, if there is so, so for example for Postgres the default port is 554.32. So you just uh, connect in the redash part using that or try to explore more on how to uh, run docker using different network modes so for example there is bridge mode there is uh, a host mode so try to experiment on that and you'll find out. the solutions i just the solution just i just mentioned will work but okay uh and yeah so mostly it works but for Mahuba, I've used that IP address on success, but doesn't show the tables. So are you sure you have the tables? Because if it connects, you have to connect to a specific database. So if uh, if you connect to that specific database, the tables will appear. Maybe if not, try to debug it, debug the logs, the actual reader logs. Okay, so make sure you are connected uh, to the correct database on the reader side. Okay, uh, I think, uh, does that answer your question, uh, I think, Yeah, I do think so. 
I'm trying to visit and uh, yeah. Thank you. For now, I just have a good idea, so I'm trying to go for it. And uh, after that, maybe if I get any challenges again, so I will post on Slack. Okay, do that. And also for GetHatchos question, try to run this command on your uh, PC so you will actually see if the service is actually running. So this means sudo ls of minus i will list all the list the process that is actually running on port 5432. So take it using that. If if you have a process ID, it means some process is actually running in, on site on that port because connection refused will not uh, shouldn't appear if something is running. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, any other question? So what was the output? If you if you have tried that one, what was the output? So you have a process ID that was that is returned. And it depends where you actually running your spike. Okay, go on, Hillary. My question is: uh, um, we 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 are supposed to like use quit uh, sell salary for uh, concurrency, and my question is that uh, how uh, how how is it, how how am I going to test uh, the concurrency? Because um, I'm running I'm running the Redash. Uh, I'm running Redash on in my machine, and for for there to be concurrency, yeah, there's like have to be different people making requests at the same time. Uh, and how can I ensure that is working or tested? Okay, have you set it up correctly? Or is it actually no, 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 no. Uh, no, no. So I have it up yet. Okay, set it up and we will see that. Mostly it will actually be concurrent, but if there is an issue, you will actually see it by then. Uh, okay. So uh, maybe it's not clear, but uh, I, I, I'm asking that, uh, I mean, it's working well the way it is. I'm using Quad Server and it's working well the way it is. And, uh, I, what can salary do like differently from what it's running right, right now? I'm expecting that uh, it should be for concurrency. That is like if you have different users calling the uh, APIs or uh, running at the at the same time, that is where salary will handle that. Or, and my question is that how how will I even test that? Because I'm I'm the, I'm the only user. Uh, um, doing the queries for the database so mostly in, in this case you will uh, you will see it after you set it up so for example let's say you have uh, you want to run two process concurrently so there is no way uh, to know if that's working or not until you set it up right or until you try to make it work Okay, I've tried. Yeah, okay, try it. Try to make it work, and if there is uh, an issue, just post it in Slack, and we will be good. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, Gitacho, can you explain what you actually uh, pasted on the chat box?
Is it uh, the yeah, result yeah. of the uh, yeah, comment? Yeah. Okay, go. Yeah. Is this uh, the result of the comment? Uh, by now it passed okay. this step and uh, showing me another, uh, showing me that it's uh, correctly running, but uh, when I try to access the uh, Redash dashboard, it says internal server error mm -hmm. Let me show you. That's Maybe share a screen and let's just go through it. Okay, okay. Can you see now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as uh, it's shown here, it's uh, say the okay. press, the server in WordPress schedule, they are all running correctly, but when I try to access Okay, so the, can you uh, actually access the logs? The logs, okay. maybe. Yeah, do, just type what, uh, like, if, if you don't know the command, just, what is uh, your it's redash server one right so docker follow docker, docker follow dash dash logs dash dash logs and redash i'll just paste it in redash server one okay. i'll just paste it on the on the chat box okay Maybe try this command. I know oh, maybe uh, let me just uh, make sure that if it's the right command. Uh, if it's uh, okay, it's it's in Korean. So just uh, Docker logs dash dash follow maybe. Okay, great. It's not working. Yeah, I I was trying to use that one. Let me... oh, okay, let me just find. Okay, go on, Joseph. Uh, yeah. So um, he, he can try. Uh, could you just do dock up dock up yes. Is it the one? Dock up yes to check the container ID. Look up yes, look up yes. Um, so you uh, go to copy the container ID for your redash server. Uh, then uh, Docker Docker logs. Then paste the container ID. Oh. Uh, so we have a connection refused again. Okay. So that's why it's showing you an internal server here. Mm -hmm. So can you actually? Yeah. It's just uh, data. It, 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 it's not on. Maybe uh, is your database running on? the correct port and on the correct address yeah so your error your error breakdown is there so uh, try researching on uh, what's the issue with that error okay can you actually type sudo or less of what i have just pasted and let's just see what our no. is sudo ls of mm -hmm. no no space mm -hmm. minus i Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, so colon, mm -hmm. colon, no, co not quotation, just, yeah, five, no, no, five, no, no, just colon, and okay. five, four, three, two, no space. Okay. So now you have some 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 processes that actually are li listening to so can you connect to uh 
and we connect using maybe uh, posters. I mean, PG Army. You yeah, are able to yeah. Are you able to connect with the correct database? Okay, how, how can I see that? Uh, I have the database. So, is this your database? Yes. Okay, so just refresh it and let's see. What was the connection string you used? Maybe right, right click on Postgres. So, and maybe just check. Yeah. Maybe try to uh, get the connection string from there. You can see how the connection was made. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, can you try on? Mm -hmm. Almost there is nothing on general. Yeah. Uh, okay. Try to connect again, or maybe just to try to create a new connection. Okay. Uh, should I create a new database or? Yeah, not not cre create new database, but uh, try to connect because yeah, try to connect again, okay. or just close the PG admin and open it again. So you will actually the connection will be uh, reset. Okay. Uh, click on ten academy. Right click on ten academy and let's just see uh disconnect from server refresh of configuration maybe can you check on properties okay so now yeah it's working so it's on local host yeah uh, okay maybe that's the problem because docker uh, docker's local host is not uh so your docker okay so just type docker network at least. So, see, uh, your, uh, I think your redash is an, in a bridge mode, so you can't access the host network. So, in bridge mode, by default, it creates its own isolated network configuration. So, localhost represents the localhost in that uh, particular environment, local environment, not your. Uh, local host. That's why you can actually connect using the local host in the in this one. And uh, okay, so when you actually say just type Docker PS and see if your database is running on the correct port. So your Postgres is actually so. Yeah, it's running on the network. Okay, maybe there is a configuration problem. So because this is just running on uh so how before uh were you able to connect actually or, or were you able to actually run uh read our server yeah I, yeah yeah before I, I, lots of time it was running but so uh, yeah what, what did you do before uh, actually it went down i tried so many things uh, I, I was googling on I was trying to change the port here, okay. and I was trying so to change uh, the config file too. Okay, maybe I uh, tried yeah. lots of things. Mm. Maybe the where where is the Postgres? So by default, it's it's just running on uh, five four. Mm. Oh. So should I edit this? why why do you did you just change that uh, it's it was uh, the default one i think just i tried it by changing to this uh, okay. i was but it's not working okay maybe can you debug it by changing this back 
and actually because it might be another error not a database connection error now it just changed the database and now it's just mm -hmm. the database so let's just um, take it back to the, its original uh, original way and try to give up the logs maybe that will work mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. so just uh, what I'm saying is just first take all the configuration into their original version and after that mm -hmm. debug using the logs. Okay. okay. I try. So uh, it will just give you the initial error. Now it's just a database connection error. Okay, okay, I'll go through it uh, and they will uh, try to, go to access through Slack. Okay, okay, thank Uh, can you hear me? Okay, uh, so let's just, uh, if you have any more questions, make sure to actually type, either use the Slack, and yeah. Thank you, guys. Okay, I hope uh, the Q&A helps. And yeah, thank you guys for joining. Mm, just make sure to type any blockers and any errors you have on Slack. Bye.